Well, it's one of the greatest rescue missions the world has ever seen. And now Oscar winner Ron Howard has turned the incredible true story of the Thai cave rescue into a movie. 13 Lives follows the divers and authorities and 10,000 volunteers who teamed up to save a soccer team and their coach in a maze of flooded, narrow tunnels. And our showbiz correspondent Steve Hargrave caught up with the Oscar winning director and Aussie star Joel Edgerton. Hello to you, Steve. Now, the real events when we watched them on the news in 2018 were gripping enough. How does this drama translate into a movie? Yeah, well, good morning. As, you, as you'd imagine, it is incredibly tense stuff. And there was almost a race straight away to get this movie made into a film because it seemed like a film back in the day. As you say, big stars, Colin Farrell, Viggo Mortensen, and a huge director, Mr. Ron Howard, who, of course, has directed some big movies in the past about real-life events. I got to catch up with him and asked him about what it took to bring this big adventure to the big screen. Hey, Rick, you following what's happening in Thailand? Some kids stuck in a cave. As the director of Apollo 13, Ron Howard is used to turning real-life news events into gripping movies. Now he's tackling a much more recent true tale in 13 Lives, a movie that dramatizes the events from four years ago when a kid's soccer team became trapped in flooded caves in Thailand. Twelve boys and their coach are trapped in the flooded caves. Hello? They're here. How many of you? Thirteen. Thirteen? They're all alive. Uh, can we go out now? The story gripped the world for weeks. And for Ron, it was a heroic Excellent. rescue mission that he almost immediately wanted to turn into a film. Ron, this is a story that resonated all around the world, of course, not least in Australia. What was it that made you sort of attracted to the idea of turning it into a movie? You know, I was challenged by it, but also excited by it because I do feel like it's a modern story. It's a story for this moment. The wide variety of very interesting people making these hard decisions to do the right thing. That's something that is kind of easy to read about and talk about, but much more palpable and, and uh, emotional for an audience, I think, when they see those kinds of moments played out. The real life drama lasted weeks as experts were called in from around the world to try and work out how to rescue the team and their coach, who were stuck without food deep underground in miles of tiny, winding, twisting, flooded tunnels. It seemed impossible. But as the film shows when the boys were found, a daring plan was hatched they were to be anaesthetized, placed in diving masks and carried out one by one. A dangerous mission that was naturally hard to recreate. Well, a couple of the actual rescue divers, Rick Stanton and Jason Mallinson, were our technical advisors. We went through the specs on the cave and found all the most dangerous places and we reenacted scenes in and around that in a detailed way, because that was something that I knew we could offer audiences that they had never seen. They'd heard about the difficulties, but there was never any way to get a documentary camera into those into those tunnels, really playing out those difficult moments. What are you thinking? Just a crazy idea. We've got a skill none of the rest of us have. No. The film shows how the Thai community rallied together to help to try and rescue the boys. Viggo Mortensen and Colin Farrell play Rick Stanton and John Valanthan, the two humble UK expert divers called in who eventually found the team. While Joel Edgerton plays Aussie diver and anaesthetist Richard Harry Harris, a doctor from Adelaide. Harry, who you play, Joel, is like a real-life Aussie hero isn't he? Which is good for you on one level because you get to keep your accent. Yeah. It must have always been extraordinary while filming to just constantly be thinking, but they did this for real. Yeah. I was about to joke that what I have to do is so much harder than what Harry has to do. You know, reading his book and watching numerous interviews of his and having since post shooting, you know, had the pleasure of having a barbecue with him in Adelaide. Um, he's tr truly an, an extraordinary human being. There was such a good spirit from the ground up on this project, you know, from, from everybody. I think everybody felt honored to be part of telling a narrative version of this story. An incredible undertaking then for both Joel and the rest of the cast. Ron says everyone's collected devotion to get this inspirational story on screen was at times very intense. The actors all admitted later that they'd had moments of mild panic attacks or feeling claustrophobia, but I never knew that at the time. I think they just kept it to themselves because they wanted to do it themselves once they'd been trained, and they did. And it lent a lot of authenticity and also just intensity to the movie. 
you know, it's one of those movies where even though you know the ending, of course, we know what happened, it's still so tense getting yeah. to see those details in those caves. So yeah. an early awards contender, it's on Amazon Prime mm. Video. You can watch that tomorrow. Yep, claustrophobic mm. cinema at its best. All right, <laughs> thanks for that, oh, yeah. Steve.